Cecil Fielder, touch him on. On the roof. The fifth time Cecil Fielder has hit it on the roof. This will probably bring out Kennedy again. If he doesn't, he's got to come out. Here he comes. This kid is uh, right side lit up the whole place. Cecil hits it up on the roof. Number 21 for Cecil, 69 RBIs, and we're tied up. Low fastball, and Cecil Fielder got it all, folks. Up on the roof. They ought to write a song like that. Oh, they already have. Holy mackerel. Right up there in the middle, boys. That's a long ways away. And just like that, in about five and a half minutes, it's a 4 4 ball game. I'll bet you uh, that Mr. Kennedy wishes he'd have brought Pinky in here at the beginning. And Cecil Fielder time. just ignited this crowd with an unbelievable drive. Left center field on top of the roof. 1 0 pitch. Fielder takes it high and deep to left field. It is way back. Say goodbye. Well, this one didn't take long to get back close. There's all-speed pitch. Didn't get in a good spot. Not hit that hard. One of these exhibition stadium home runs, almost like you call a Fenway Park. High fly ball deep to right field. Corey Snyder back. It keeps going, and it's gone. Home run number 20 for big Cecil Fielder. To temporarily at least give him the American League lead. Well, Cecil really didn't hit that ball at all. He hit it down, more or less down the right field line, and he just reached out and poked it. Here we are in the first week of June. He already has 49 RBI. Boy, here's a drive to center field. It's another one out of here. The ball was down a little bit. You can see there he had to go down and out, but he extended those arms. And when you extend the arms and hit the ball, it usually goes pretty hard. Not only did it go hard and far, it went in a hurry. I mean, it got out of here in no time. A drive to center field, and he does it again. It's out of here. Welcome to the Cecil Fielder Show. Well, it didn't get in as far as it should have been. Nobody went out as far as it should have gone out. <laughs> Again, the center field. Three home runs tonight. third ball hit over the roof in Tiger Stadium bounced over no one has cleared it during the game in the fly Harmon Killebrew Frank Howard and now Sessa Fielder have bounced him over the roof and left here's the stretch by Edkins the set the pitch there's a long fly ball to left down the line if it stays there it's gone it's a fair ball hit the facing of the upper deck home run number for Cecil Fielder, he becomes the 11th man in Major League history to collect 50 home runs in a season. It started out to be a cool, rainy day. They had a big party out in the parking lot. Oh, Whoa, look at gone. this. Forget it. That might be out of the whole stadium. It may be. It, it is. is. It went out of everywhere, right on over the top. Cecil Fielder with a monstrous 41st home run. 
Cecil hits another one to get two away from him. I was mentioning that to Larry. Ball went out of the ball yard, Sparky. He said he can't believe it. <laughs> He's pointing over to the Milwaukee dugout. The big man clobbered that one, didn't he? Clobbered. <laughs> Take another look at it. He gets all of it. It's up high, and the wind is blowing right to left. There's a young fellow out there in a green cap. Tries to catch it right there, and he does. Cecil Fielder getting a chance tonight. Hits it hard. Deep left feet. Could go. Powers the ball. Some guys have a pretty fluid swing. They get extension. Cecil Fielder just muscles the ball. Look at those eyes. And there you see his teammates on the bench. They know when the Big Daddy gets one. Well, they call him Big Daddy. And his children recently gave him that. Big Daddy for him. High and deep to right field. Everett back on the warning track and it's gone. Cecil goes the opposite way for his seventh home run and the Yankees lead it two to nothing. Look at that ball down in the strike zone and Cecil just hammers it to right field for a home run. Watch Cecil again. He's going to go out after a ball down in the strike zone. Fastball away, and he just took it the other way. And Boggs just broke late. Here's a drive to deep left center. This ball is on its way. This ball is gone. Well, if there's any sting felt by the Yankees over Boggs breaking late, that takes care of most of it. We've talked about how great Bernie Williams has been in this series. Well, the big fella has been awesome as well. Not just with the home run ball, but getting key base hits, putting the ball in play when he needs to. He's done everything that the Yankees could expect of him this series. And he tries to get this fastball inside. He doesn't get it in enough. And you can see he fights it off a little bit, but that helps to be real strong like Fielder is. And the ball is definitely carrying that way, although the wind is not blowing right now. And a huge scene in front of the Yankee dugout. Just about everybody came out. They didn't wait for Fielder to get to the dugout to greet him. They all came out onto the dugout apron. Five runs in the third. Four of them unearned because of the Alomar error. And now this one is driven to deep center. Brady Anderson back to the track. Goodbye. See the Yankee bullpen, they're having fun too. There were some people who said that the Yankees went downhill a little bit when they acquired Daryl Strawberry and Cecil Fielder, that they stopped doing the things that had gotten them there, stopped hitting and running and, and things and waiting for the home run. I don't think that's true. These guys really added a lot to this ball club. They've added power, and you see the results of it right here. And, and not to be repetitious. But you can't help it. Look where that last fastball was from Erickson about belt high out over the plate. This ball went over the Oriole bullpen into the Yankee bullpen. And uh, there it is. You think they're not happy out there? Two and one to Cecil. And a change is launched down the left field line and deep. Shane Mack into the corner and gone. Cecil Fielder. Cecil Fielder got a change up to pull and he pulled it down the line and just over the railing. So it is six to one in favor of the Angels. And for Fielder, home run number 17. 